LJ? Yeah? I really want to see the new recap review. Where can I go? Well, I'll tell you, little Johnny. If you head on over to Vessel.com forward slash the TTV channel, you'll find all of our content, recap reviews, mock spotlights, and more on Vessel a week early. That's right, a full seven days before we release it on YouTube. Not only that, but content from tons of other creators all across the internet. In order to access it, you need to sign up for early access, which is only $3 a month. It's a really great deal, and it helps us create better, higher quality content, and it gets you guys in on the loop a whole week early. Wow! I'm gonna go sign up right now! You do that, little Johnny. You do that. Five, four, three, two, one, sing! sing. <laughs> everyone how's it going what it's up it's going pretty hey, good how's it going? <laughs> hey. that's hot everybody pretty great i don't know how to feel about Wait. the new pokemon you're, let's get you're not right john where's the john hey guys. you mean kahi hey everyone <laughs> oh oh here he's coming right now <laughs> oh no hey Hey, how's it going? You know, who, <laughs> hey guys, who are we, right? Oh, wait, so welcome to Bring Me My Guest. Yeah. Uh, I'm Kami, John. I, to I thought you said you weren't here. Oh, I'm here now, you son oh. of a gun. So, hey. You, you, hey, Kai, <laughs> Kai, how, <laughs> Hey, Kai. How are Yeah, uh, I, get, yeah. I have right, a so rhyme like that summarizes our situation. John is go. gone. No, he's here. He's just being wow. weird right now. It's like he's <laughs> drunk or something. So anyway, let's, what else is now? LJ, transition, please, because John's <laughs> too All right, to yeah. do it. D do the considering thing. That, considering we have an unusual case of identity crisis, I guess we'll actually get our names straight. In that case, I'm LJ. I'm Mesa. I'm John. I'm Ben. <laughs> I'm AXX Trooper. And I'm Purple. And this is the Brickfeed Podcast. And this is the Brickfeed Podcast. <laughs> episode 14. No, shut yeah, up, John. Yeah. You, you're not supposed to hear. Let me take you out, okay? No. It's quite the contrast between take episode you out. 14 Go back to and sleep, something around 200. <laughs> Go back to sleep, John. <laughs> Alright. Wait, what? So, this is an interesting a... podcast. Yeah, it ha it is an interesting podcast. I don't often get to host things that are not my own show, mm -hmm. so this is a lot of fun for me because I originally wanted to host the Brickfeed podcast, but was beat out by Kahi. <laughs> well, you mean John? You mean beat up? Now you get to have your fun doing awkward yeah. segues. And oh yeah, no, I get to be the guy. I get to be the guy that with the awkward segues and and. And the the system news and the discussion and I get yeah, to it's lead like, the discussion and ooh it makes me screw feel the tingly. system. This is an interesting podcast yeah. for a lot of reasons. Not just is it the first thing you're hosting in a good while, but it's also our first podcast recorded on the post bionical world. Yeah, I was about to say. Yeah. Oh boy, this is oh the boy. First uh, if I go put down podcast. that one really fun dog that everyone likes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> By that, I mean like 13 po The post-mortem podcast. Let us have a moment of silence in remembrance of our favorite theme. Okay, moment of silence is over. Uh, <laughs> don't look to the past. Always look forward look to, to the, the future, horizon. the brick-filled future. Yeah, no, you know what? Let, let, let's look to the future with an Exo Force reboot petition. I think that's our next yeah. step, guys. Yeah, that's, that's actually next, yeah, like, honestly. That's the next nostalgia yeah. train to write on. So let's yeah, yeah. Honestly, yeah. that'd be really I do, cool. I do feel uh, I'd that be is down. the best direction for a construction to go. Yeah, to because it because it includes minifigures and the second there's like a really detailed cool looking minifigure in a the set, then instantly system guys are like, "Oh, I I want that." I need the like yeah, invasion from below is a good step going. in the right direction, but the minifigures weren't Technically, like real minifigures, hey, construction. Uh, construction is such a mess right now. Just the last wave of Hero Factory, no closure, minifigures out of the blue, and same with Bionicle, pretty much. Two years of Bionicle and then an underwhelming end. Bionicle's legacy will for always be 
Quake Beast. And Storm oh, yeah. Beast. And I mean, hey, we're they were neck. sort of cool sets. I mean... They were... But they were not finale cool sets. Yeah, they're, yeah. yeah. But the records show that 2010 had more sets to close out the line. Oh, no, 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 no. That was my revelation, <laughs> oh my you God. son of a gun. <laughs> well, I just took I it came from up you. With that revel- no, screw you. I'm oh, going snap. to go onto that panel at yeah, yeah, Brick Fair. That's mine. I lay claim to that one. Not unless some There's still guy gonna be a in like, a panel before us like, panel? makes the same statement. No, screw this. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going on the message boards. I'm going to make this... Before Mesa does. Make it a banner yeah, no, topic so or whatever. I would be you more guys, than down look what for I Exo came up Force. with. I would like really like Exoforce to come back. Dude. I never really got into it when it was a thing. All I remember was looking in the Lego map. I never really got like, into hey, it either. There's a lot of cool bionicle parts here. Oh, yeah, really. <laughs> I never remember that seeing was, all these I swear staff that was a meme pieces in like white and point. red and stuff. Yeah. Just people making fun of Exoforce by just having like a normal system set and slapping on a couple bonicle parts and just like, hey, it's Exoforce. <laughs> Savage. Yeah, it's it's Boy, uh, jerks. Just live it up. Yeah. I think mechs are the necessary future for construction to take. Cause real talk, what could they possibly do? <laughs> like. Yeah, yeah really. and I mean, that's, nothing now. it would be the coolest thing to like have mechs. It, they have to do either mechs or Nexo Knights or Ninjago construction figures. Do they Ninjago though? Is there, is, there, is there something internally with Lego where it's like they have to have a construction theme? Do you think? No, they're considering... we already know they're not going to no. have. They're probably not going to have anything besides Star Wars for all of 2017. Probably. Based yeah, but on like heard. for the life cycle of like Lego, is it? Are it, is are the extra the construction theme for Star Wars? All those are they going really well? Is there? St- I mean, from everything we've heard, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So like, it, so it is worth enough for Lego to ha- still have construction sets like that. I guess I'm it's... not a marketing expert. I'm not a sales guy, but yeah. logic That's... would dictate. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're backpacking off the success of Star Wars license, and you know, Star Wars will eat that up. So, yeah, I, at the I very guess least, so. it's selling okay. I guess better than Bionicle because it's still around. <laughs> yeah. Not, so. Well, then again, <laughs> we don't figure. really know. Do we know that? If, oh wait, yeah, we do. There are more yeah, uh, construction do. sets coming out next year, right? Oh, we, yes. We, uh, yeah. What three of them? Three yeah, of them. We don't know the anything. next wave will only heard, have two, and then we have heard rumblings that there are more. <laughs> uh, part of Bionicle the sets? Wave. No, Star Wars. Bionicle's oh. like dead. Yeah, yeah Bonacle's yeah, gone and forever. Into a gutter. Yeah. yeah, it's never come back. Yeah, this yeah. time it's no mercy. Well, how do you know? Maybe I, it'll I be back because... in like 2020. Oh my gosh, people are honestly commenting with that. It's so stupid. I don't. don't no, it's done. <laughs> and, and to the people we posting need to move these on pe- to petitions, to, to the people posting these petitions, like, oh, we want another Makuta set, and come on, release the last Makuta set. Stop doing that. They're not gonna release it. They canceled it. It's over. It's done. Production is over. Your petition won't work. Yeah, now, speaking of sets that aren't coming out, the summer sets yeah. are out this year. Woo! Yeah! yeah. As of a new, whole new yeah. wave of Lego sets just launched. Yeah, I really want the green energy dragon. Or whatever. I don't. I want anything but the green. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> wow. I would take whatever. Yeah, I've got a whole bunch of like Ninja Go, uh, Marvel superheroes, and all that the good stuff. The purple dragon L set is out. Oh, yay. I gotta queue up my <laughs> You guys should get then. that. <laughs> yeah, you should get it at Brick Fair and just like, I don't know. Get it in the microwave? No, please yeah, don't like it, break it or anything. Put it in like, a campfire. Jeez, I don't know about that. Slide. That's a waste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah it is, but it I mean, would be all these hilarious. pieces in a rare color. Okay, yeah, yeah, exactly. Purple. And it's like LJ's you... favorite colors, too. Is it a waste <laughs> if we enjoy ourselves, Vin? Truly, is that not Yeah, I mean, it kind of, of is a waste. Yeah, we can enjoy is ourselves it really in worth other $50 ways. to just, like, purple. melt all this? I'm gonna put you in a life or death ever. situation here, Purple, okay? Life or oh. death. Either we destroy the dragon, or I pour a frappe onto the ground. They should have oh a dragon theme. Oh my gosh! See? Life or death. <laughs> no! <One of> them's <laughs> she hates wasting food. I don't consider frappes oh from Starbucks as food. Well, I never, said it, I never said it was from Starbucks. I was thinking the ones from McDonald's, which I don't know if that really helps oh, at all. Oh, McDonald's you're right. <laughs> Yeah, that, that makes it so much better. I love McDonald's coffee. <laughs> hey man, frappes are actually good. Like, I've had McDonald's coffee before and it was gross, but like, frappes no, are actually decent. <laughs> 
I, no, uh, I, I do. I, I do like really their like frappes, their chocolate chip frappes. and I do like their smoothies the most. Yeah, their smoothies frappes are, really are kind good. of like watery, at least the one I had. But oh, that you good. you have a bad McDonald's. You have a really crappy McDonald's if it's just watery. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't just water. Yeah, my McDonald's a is a five-star restaurant, and respectable people go there you know, to have dinner. <laughs> yeah, I'm there all the time. I know what they should make. They should make a Lego theme. It would be fast food. Oh, it my gosh. All the different I'm surprised. And it would just be food with wheels on it going really fast. Well, no, no, well, no. It's like, think about it. There's one set where it's just a normal restaurant. People go and they order it. And there's one set with, like, a rowdy drive through customer. See, I'm and surprised. Have, like, I'm kind of surprised. I'm surprised they didn't make they a, a function McDonald's function where you can throw set. the drink and the food through the window and, like, crack the window. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of surprised they don't really have, like, a fast food city set or anything. They, they should have done yeah, a McDonald's goodness. set. That's the thing that gets me. I'm... Like, think they I'm don't surprised want to they, didn't, they haven't come out with one already. With a Ronald yes, McDonald did. minifigure. Oh, gosh. Uh, you know what? That's a really great point. I am surprised they haven't done that, because they have been affiliated with McDonald's before. I mean, uh, yes. yeah, their logo is matching sets. color. <laughs> yep. How can right. we forget the epic legacy of the McTorn and the 06 minifigures and... Oh, Listen, I'm just saying he had... I'm just saying Ben has a good point. Yeah. That's all. I would have bought Good job, models, Ben. So. Yeah, GG, thanks, ben. bro. Good. I love <laughs> you. Can't wait to meet wait, you. Hold on. So I can give you a big bear hug. I don't want to. I, I don't want him don't to go to Big Bear me. anymore. <laughs> I'll take his place. Yeah, don't, don't well, wait, wait. I'll send a bear hug. Whose, pl whose place revenant. will you be taking? Mine Yours. or LJ's? <laughs> My place. So you're, you're the one that's going to be bear hugging LJ. Ew. Uh, yeah, no. <laughs> but you said you wanted trap. to take my place. And, well, <laughs> that's what I'd be doing in Shadow my place. Shadow trap. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. I would say no bionicle discussion, but there's not really anything to discuss anymore, so. Yeah. What are you talking yeah. about? There's plenty to discuss. No, no, no. Yeah, there's, there's all the summer sets. Are you guys acceptance. gonna pick up any of the summer sets now that they're out? Because I know I am. I'm gonna get the, the NRG sets. dragon. Oh, you don't. Shut up. Yeah, I do. I no, got Quake don't. Beast and Storm no, Beast. No, Bionicle's dead, dude. You got dude. Quake Beast? It's all yeah. about system now. I feel sad for you, LJ. Whenever someone <laughs> asks Quake to Beast bring back York. Bionicle <laughs> now, they'll just they'll just picture like Quake Beast and like, yeah. hello darkness, <laughs> my old friend, be the coming in on the background. The Lego community, I'm telling yeah, you. it's not not that it wasn't already. AFLs for some reason they hate Bionicle. Eh, yeah. Back in they the gotta, day, I don't remember too many kids to being fond of it either. A lot of them do, either. not like generalizing like LJ does. That's his no, views. I'm gonna, not I'm every single one. Generalize. I'm gonna generalize all of them. The exceptions are us. To be, the wow. To the wow. AFOLs, <laughs> AFOLs, I grew up with Bionicle, love System Lego, but also acknowledge Bionicle as General Lego. Those that did not grow up with Bionicle regarded as Galador. Wow. Yeah, no, here's Maybe the, they'll bring back Galador as their next construction. When I was growing up, when I was growing up, there are no other kids that are really into it either. Like, um, because I went to public school basically Galador? all my life. And <laughs> I, I was based, I was like the only person I knew growing up that was into Lego and Bionicle as much as I was. Anybody else is like, oh, yeah, Legos are cool. <laughs> Oh, Bionicle? Yeah, yeah I too. heard of that. But no, everybody else is all about the sports sort of, uh, what do you, what do you, what do you call it? Sports the, sport, the sports scene, I guess. Yes. Where you have first yeah. graders playing, trying to make themselves look like Michael Jordan because he was like hey. the big thing back then. Now he don't yeah. matter because he's old. <laughs> Savage. And so are we. Yeah. And eventually we're going to be just like Michael Jordan, old and Irrelevant. Nothing but a memory. I want you to stop talking. Darkness. Let's move on from Bionicle. <laughs> no, right now, no, 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 Stop <laughs> slam dunking. You know. So, since uh, the summer wave is out, summer wave of Lego sets, we do have a lot of cool stuff from Ninjago, and yes. uh, there are a bunch of really neat, like, rescue sets. I don't know if they constitute a city. Like, they've got I, this I think rescue is just like a subset of city. Okay, excellent. X, what's the verdict? Is it? <laughs> what? What is what? <laughs> <laughs> is rescue like a subsection of city? Yeah. <laughs> well, there you go. Yeah, there you go. That's, right. that's all we needed to hear. So there's a bunch of cool stuff. However, in addition to all that, we have some kind of we don't really know when they're supposed to be coming out Lego sets that are showing up on shelves 
and in stores. First of all, the Disney Castle. That's I read showing about that. That's now. weird. I kind of want the Disney Castle. That? You know, it's a Disney Castle. You know when that's supposed to come out? September first. Jeez, oh, man. So. It's more than a month. Like, fan. Actually, it's like I've exactly a, a month at this point. Of that showing up very, very rarely in stores. Another two sets, uh, Doctor Strange set, that's in stores. Yep. And finally, the Civil War Spider-Man set, that's in stores. Yeah, yep, yeah, and that's the one that. I'll be p probably be picking up when we go to Brick Fair. Well, that's just awesome. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. Like, part of me is a little hesitant now because I I double checked the price. It's like, okay, <laughs> I know I heard it was thirty dollars before. Let me just make sure so I go and check. Yep, thirty dollars. And I'm like, okay, what's in it besides Spider-Man? The stupid looking tanker truck, and then all these other minifigures of characters that I I already have. Like, I got the Vision well. from the Quinjet last year. I got like two Captain Americas. I got like however many Hawkeyes. Well, th this is a, a new, new Hawkeye. Hawkeye. Uh, yeah. Uh, not gonna yeah. lie to you, I would probably get the set if it wasn't for the truck. It sounds stupid, but that's a deal breaker for me because You're not that's a like big truck no, so the truck is the whole thing. That's, that's basically no what's relevance. sucking up all of the money too. Like yeah, it has it no really relevance. Is. It's just there to eat the money to justify the price. <laughs> Literally, yeah, it's a creation they threw in just to like. Say, okay, we can charge $30 and we put in a truck. Like, uh, <laughs> it's like, nah, dude, I don't even know. I don't know anymore. I mean, Maybe the like Hawkeye looks display okay. Piece, a little small display piece and charge $20 for it, and I would have been so down. Right. Oh, wow. I don't know. Maybe, yeah. maybe I can, like, resell the Vision minifigure. Was there any, I'm sure you could. Is there any difference between this one and the other one? Let me take a look. I'm not entirely sure. I, not that I, I can know. recall. I know we discussed this prior. I don't think so. Don't quote me on that because it's not like I actually have the figure, but I think the only differences were Hawkeye and Well, I have uh, the figure and I'm holding it right now. You have the figure. Uh, I have the other figure. Well, not the other figure, but, you know, from the, the Quinn. Other, other set. figure. <laughs> yeah. No, the <laughs> other, other one, you know. The, no, the, the other, the other, other figure. figure one. The figure, figure one. Like the the mini you know? figure. What? One. So does he, <laughs> does this guy like me or like like me? You know. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> no, it looks like they're the same. <laughs> so well, there maybe you I can resell it. Um. Yeah. Th there you go. Ven's eBay page. Everybody, check it out. Oh boy, it's the best. I'll probably so, be guess, reselling plug. a whole lot of this. I guess people set. are gonna have to ask what's on eBay today. Ha! Ah, <laughs> well, there you go. Vision, and maybe. Well, is Cap any different either? Nope. Not there at all. There we go. Then Captain America will also be on my eBay page. <laughs> I'm wow. super excited for Cap though because. Because I don't have a Captain America minifigure. Are I've you, never wait, had one. Okay, here, let's let's strike a deal. All right. No, no. I, don't, I will. I I'll sell you the, the Captain America minifig when I get no. the set. Yeah, dude. I'll sell it to you no. for like dirt no, cheap. No, I, I don't want that. I want to get the set for myself. Oh, really? Anybody want to buy a minifig? Well, then you can get two Captain America. Yeah, you get two caps. I don't want that. I don't like. Why would dudes. you not? That's double the Captain America. I know, but like, I'm already. Like America, so I don't need it. Fine. <laughs> I'm well, already so America. One? You're just gonna sell yours? Not, no, no, I'm not gonna sell it. I'm just. But you say you don't buy, need it because you're I'm already. I'm going to buy the Captain America set on my own, independent of Ven, because I'm American. We're all independent here, except for wow. X. Sorry. Except for X. But wow, we're not communists. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> I didn't say you were communist. And see, another thing I was also thinking about was I also kind of want to pick up the, the Ghost Rider set. Because I feel like yes. I would that enjoy set that entire life. set. I want that set so bad. Yeah, no, it's a good looking set. Uh, there has been a review of it. The thing that strikes me as interesting is that the headpiece, like the flames, it is 100% connected to the minifigure head. Oh really? So they, you they can't do not disconnect separate. It. Oh wow. They don't separate. That's they are crazy. One single piece. So, yeah, just a bit of a heads up. <laughs> well, that 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 kills it for me. I don't want it anymore. No. Oh, you still want it. You yeah, no, I really do. Yeah. The only really thing good. that bothers me though is that Spider-Man, he doesn't have the red feet, you know? Like the red printed feet. What what what's going on here? 
What do you mean? What do you mean what? Or not the oh, red Oh, the spider Prince. Sorry, I, I, I got a bit confused because I was thinking like the Spider-Man in Civil War and he does. But yeah, no, the Spider-Man in the Ghostbusters. Ghostbusters. <laughs> wow. <laughs> There's a what? Uh, the Spider-Man in uh, Ghostbusters. So Iron Man came out movie. with a new, a new suit. It's called the Ghostbuster. He's going to use it to fight Ghost Rider. <laughs> yeah. But no, Ghost Rider. Um, it's weird. I don't know why. They have a Spider-Man minifigure with the dual molded legs, and it looks phenomenal, but they never use it out of one it's set. It's really strange. It, and it don't, don't make a no sense. sense. Is it, it possible the Spider-Man in that set was supposed to be another iteration in the Sandman set? I, don't know, I mean, form. they're, they're all even, they're even all if the it, same it, it still Doesn't... falls, it still falls under the exact same like brand. It's still like the Spider-Man cartoon, yeah, related. Thing. Doesn't really matter that much though, because uh, no one bought the Sandman set because it's it's bad. The Sandman set it. It was really lame. Yeah, it, they I tried. Gift, I like the so. concept, the execution. Uh, uh, no, I love it. I love the set. I think it's phenomenal. Do you have it? <laughs> yeah, I got it as gift, and it's it's one of my favorite systems. See, that's, that's why great. that's why you like you like it. You basically got it for free. Yeah, I mean, price you have to pay to for it. I was, you'd, I was you'd look at it on getting it myself at some point. Yeah, okay. But. Whatever, dude. Dude, it's uh, in my what? I was going to get it anyway. How, how much is it retailing for? $40? Uh, More than it should have. I don't remember. Yeah. It's, it's at my Walmart for 20 Whoa. Half whoa, 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 whoa. Lego goes under, like, their price? Yeah. Discounts are everywhere. Whoa. It's half off. Crazy. Wait, how much is it now? I didn't hear at 20 20 dollars 20 dollars 20 dollars wait where yeah. yes at Walmart my Walmart oh well mm. you want one you serious you can get the no, entire Borderlands Handsome collection that. on PS4 for 20 dollars no i'd rather get it instead tbh <laughs> i don't know. i like it i like the minifigure it's my favorite part of the entire set you also get sandman and rhino and iron spider so no, i think you get knockoff it. bootleg rhino and like, yeah, oh, that, that rhino. Get... Uh, that rhino looks like booty, dude. I don't know. I'm not <laughs> sure of rhino. Iron Spider is great. Iron Spider yeah, does I, look great. Good. But uh, well, anyway. But yeah. So yeah, enough of that. It's a uh, when we're in Brick Fair, we're gonna be getting some Lego sets. So. Oh yes. Which I recommend the gonna... one set with Lego in it. Get me no. something while you're there. Uh, that's not happening. <laughs> Aw. If per well, listen, purple. If either of those dragon sets was cheaper, I would. No, imagine Aww. expensive. Imagine hmm. there's some kid I mean, that lives in Virginia, ones. and they listen to our podcast, and they're a fan, right? And they don't, they didn't, they have not heard for some reason. They have not heard that we're going to Brick Fair or any of that <laughs> stuff. No. And then they go into the Lego store because they're like, oh, new sets are. I want to go. And then they just see us there <laughs> buying a bunch of oh, sets. That'd now be imagine so cool. that, that. That would be crazy. You know that'd be that'd be that'd be so cool. The kid would be like, "What? You guys are here? Oh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like bring my mask and just hold it under my arm." You know, I always wondered no, what no, would no, happen no, no, if like covered. I went to Toys R Us and I just like randomly saw one of you guys. I was just like, "What on earth?" Because <laughs> yeah. like I had no idea where like you guys live, and I still technically don't. So it's like it would be fairly surreal, I would imagine. It would be like just seeing a rooster teeth person just randomly in your Walmart one day. <laughs> it's like crazy seeing someone you're a big fan of there. It's never an experience I've had. Yeah, me neither. But I, but anyway, I mean, enough boosting our ego, Lego. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, something else happened recently. Lego like shop and home. Dot com. Shop dot and home? Remake. Shop and home. Oh, shop <laughs> Not and just home. shop, but also the home. <laughs> yeah, you want to shop? Shop for some homes. But no, See, I went to their website. <laughs> I don't know if it just hasn't rolled out in my region. It hasn't. Or like so, browser. here's the scoop. Yeah, nothing's it, different for they, me. They've got a new site layout. It's completely redone. Currently only for Switzerland. Oh, wow. So, wow, that's nice okay for, then. That's nice for Switzerland. But oh my God. Do you got any pictures of it? <laughs> I'll link yeah, it to you right now. Or you can just go to the Switzerland region on Lego.com, which is what I'm doing right now. Yeah, you lazy piece of garbage. 
But no, <laughs> it's um, it looks snazzy. It, it's Fresh. good. I like it. Ooh. I mean, they got they got VIP, and then they have pick a brick, and then they have recommended for you. It looks really good. I like it personally, but I'm not a site designer. It so. feels like they've had the same site design for many, many, many years, which is why I'm glad this is happening. Yeah, it's a nice fresh. Like the one they have now, I remember using essentially this one since I was like in elementary school. It seems. Yeah, like it's, it's just been there ancient. for ages. <laughs> yeah, really. Time to go to the bionicle section and cry. And yeah, oh. I just think about Bricklink, which has had like the same site layout throughout the 2010s. <laughs> yeah, There's nothing oh. there. Only recently oh, got like a remake. 2000s. Oh boy, what are they doing here? I accidentally clicked on the Lego Friends. Why, LJ? Why? On the new Why site. Why is that giant a hot dog? I know, and I'm looking at the giant the guy in the hot dog suit. <laughs> Gosh, the faces are so awkward. His, his face speaks, come on down, ride the new uh, amusement park rides. His eyes scream, kill me. <laughs> it's like looking in two different that directions. Guy, that guy is the thumbnail. I don't oh like any layout. Why don't you like it, X? Uh, it's just, it's too... If I say toy, I mean, there is, there are toys, but I, it's <laughs> toy just... Toy-y! Yeah, it's like too... To I, I just like the other one a lot more. This one has, like, a lot of color the on it. The other one's so bland, though. This one's you so... Like I know, colors. but it's... Everything is huge. I, I'm having trouble navigating. What's Try wrong zooming with out. that? What's I think wrong it's with you? <laughs> everything! No, um, it's just, it seems... Uh, another victim of the whole the site has been redone so it, it works better on mobile type deal and it just eh, bothers me hmm. Hmm. but it looks it looks a bit pretty it looks a bit pretty though but it's a bit too mobile -y for me I think everything uh, yeah well coming from someone that. who has recently entered the mobile world for the first time like I like addict. it when sites design themselves to be mobile friendly. <laughs> Yeah. I need that. Well, there I just just want people to do it separately for each one. But you know, that that's just Fair. me. That's <laughs> <laughs> just <laughs> All right, yeah. Fair uh, enough. New website right. is apparently a lollipop, guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I remember whenever I would go to the bank when I was little, they'd always give out lollipops, and then they stopped doing that, and lollipop, it made me sad. Lollipop, lollipop, boom, boom, boom. All right. Well, it's a site design. It looks snazzy. What's yeah. Next? Speaking of site designs, don't do this. <laughs> That's my masterful segue. There is another thing on the docket today, and that is a subform, a, a subsite of Lego. It's called Lego Remake, and this okay. is ingenious. Yeah. Wait a I second, really I like just—they totally ripped us off. Did they? Yeah, it says remake by fans for fans. Oh come on, we never even used that tagline. <laughs> yes, we did. <laughs> we totally we did. It was back when we were on Busy Power. We were like by members for members. Oh my goodness. Technically, never used fans. Don't, don't what forget is this? who the little people were, Lego. Okay, so Remake is a new part of the Lego website that provides alternate building instructions for official sets. So yeah. alternate designs, alternate uh. models for actual sets that Lego releases. Because, you know, a set, a set is released, Lego set is released, and it has instructions, and you build it per how it's shown in the instructions, so it looks like it is on the box. This... You get to remake it, and fans get to submit their their uh, new instructions, their new design models, and uh, official Lego employees get to, and stuff like that. Hmm. I love it. That's really cool. It's really so cool. cool. Except it's all the genius. sets they have listed are just city. Call me when they're doing Jago. Yes, people love their people love their city. City is like oh what, yeah, city will city never city die. Like the number I, I, I one. I can't sold understand how people are that big right fans of city. Because, like, there's only so many police stations and, like, fire trucks you can really get it's cause, in the city. It's because it's timeless, and there's always something someone needs. Because what they did, essentially, is that they overtook the market for miniature building landscapes. Like, there's all these people that have their basement full of just all this entire <laughs> set-up train station. <laughs> yep. Or I trains <laughs> going everywhere. And so that has yeah. been just 
all completely replaced by people having entire Lego cities and mm -hmm. yeah, fair enough. So it makes yeah. sense. Just, that's what I you get. have a I giant mean, Lego city in the other room. Yeah, so. it's never been well, my speed. Well, but evidently it's it not is for most, everyone. Most people, because insanely popular. <laughs> <laughs> But either way, this site is really cool. I like the idea of alternate builds. I recall they used to do them a good bit back in the day. I don't think they do them all that much nowadays, officially, like, in the actual instruction booklets. But I remember Bionicle sets used to have alternate builds, and uh, the Minecraft sets, which were solely focused around, you know, creating the Minecraft models and whatever. I remember they had a lot of alternate build instructions for, like, the crafting box and stuff. Yeah, the crafting box had some... And they have been doing this thing. I saw this at Walmart. They have these boxes, which are just chock full of Lego bricks. And they oh, have yeah. just a bunch of different models and ideas. It's kind of like can Creator, but yeah. just for all sorts of different colors and models and ideas and concepts. That's so, this be. is That's a great like idea. A, the spirit of creativity. You need to capitalize on that. And I am more than down for this. Yeah, no, this is uh, to me, idea. I feel like it's an alternate cool. build adds more, I don't want to say value to a set, because it's not like there's any more parts, but to me, Lego, what separates it from other... It gives, like, other more play value. There you go, more play value, because what separates Lego, I've always kind of been like, I like Lego more than I like any other kind of toy in existence, yeah. because I feel like when I buy a Lego set, I have a lot more value, because I have the regular set, if I wish, and there's alternate models I can build. To get more value out of it, and then when I get bored with anything Lego creates, I then just take it apart and make my own stuff, which is the spirit of the brand. Mm -hmm. But I feel like when you have that kind of stuff, it automatically adds more value to your product instead of like I don't know whatever generic action figure or like pre-built model you can buy for like roughly the same price. Yeah, <laughs> so I've always been a Lego fan, and alternate builds are just another part of that. I hope that we get Bionicle alternate build. We're not. Uh, we're not gonna get Bionicle. What if they thing. post the Makuta instructions there? Oh my god! I <laughs> swear. I mean, hey, at least we here's get the, them. Here's the alternate build for Bionicle: a tombstone. Oh. oh. I'd actually, I'd be kind of curious as to how you'd make a tombstone out of construction. Yes, bones of plenty and gray. Uh, armor shell. That's going to be an alternate build for you if you don't cut that attitude. No. <laughs> <laughs> My tombstone will say how's death and such. Oh, God. Okay, oh, it'll say yeah, how's God. life and such because you're dead, so you want to know no, how it'll life say is how's, going. No, it'll, it'll say how's death and such. No, no, that's, that's stupid because you know how death is. You're dead. <laughs> All right. Do we have anything else on the docket for today? No, let's yeah. end early. No. We... <laughs> We don't. There's nothing else of note to talk about. SDCC is Talk about is Ninjago. Brick Fair's coming up. Yeah, Ninjago. Ninjago. I, I wasn't here last Ninjago. week. Ninjago! I, like, I was backseat moderating in the chat while you misinformed our audience, but uh, I'm here now. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, <laughs> Ninjago SDCC, you're like, the next episode of the season will be called Hands of Time. Oh, my focus God. On yeah, Kai no. His parents. It's, it's not like, the next episode. It's special. There are rumors swirling and circulating that Day of the Departed will not even be a full season. And this is nothing concrete whatsoever. But people are throwing around the word special, like TV special. And people are starting to kind of get that vibe. Like it's yeah, going to be only like, one or two episodes as released during the Halloween season. Yeah, like I don't know why they would name an entire season day of The Departed. Like I don't see how they could make like an entire season last only during like one day or whatever. Or why I they mean, would name one season after possible. a day. They made an entire game multiple entire games of Batman where it took place over a single night <laughs> and like the runtime of that grief. game is probably longer than a season it's like obviously you have to suspend disbelief with that because we have the passage of time but I'm sure they could pull it off in some kind of way but um the wording they used was specifically I don't think the people on the panel ever used the word special I don't know where that's being sourced from I'm just seeing it around a lot but what they did say specifically was that hands of time the next adventure, not the next season, not the next storyline, the next adventure, which almost, if I were to guess, purely my guess, it's not going to be a TV thing at all. It's going to be some other kind of form of media, like a book or a graphic novel. Oh, really? Or something. Just a guess of mine. 
which I hope not. Uh, I'd rather have like a two episode special than like the TV show is done. That's what I'm banking on. I don't know when, <laughs> but I got a feeling they're gonna want to wrap it up as soon as possible, or at least put a cap on this phase so they can transition what? into the movie. What? What's Brett Miller gonna do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I would really hope that the TV show will continue in some way because I really like the cast, but said it before, I'll say it again, I don't see them having two cannons running side by side. I don't know, man. You, you, you wait. You wait and watch. I don't know. They can't do it. That'd be too confusing. <laughs> Maybe That's what they said about Bionicle like and bringing it back. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, but what do you know? We never had two cannons. Greg like, had to pause the serial and stuff. Who's Greg? But, <laughs> Some Who's Bionicle? Which reminds me. The Dark Island book came out for Ninjago oh, and we should totally yeah. get that and yeah. totally read that and review it yeah Maybe yeah I think should. I'll do that in get another it at life Fair, maybe if we can find a bookstore that has it I'll totally get it we can just get one copy and like read it there <laughs> save money <laughs> <laughs> but wow. anyway yeah yeah Bionicle's cancellation is taking a toll on two TV. Yeah, we can't X, even Bionicle's stop talking dead. about it. Eh, I'm okay. Bionicle is dead, X. You need to find a new creative story-driven theme to enjoy. May I recommend Ninja Go? Yeah. Ninja Go, you say? Ah, Ninja Go. Yes. In my tongue, we refer to it as Ninja Go. <laughs> Ninja Go. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, totally do it. I just want to see it just to try and understand. That's... Coal? It's coal, right? Coal. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I just want to... He intrigues me because he's just listen. He's so weird. He's a ghost, okay? No, he's just, he's gonna go some toast. I mean, yes, but when you when you watch it, it won't make it any more fulfilling. It won't make it any better. <laughs> he's just a he's dude. just a ghost. Oh. Well, at least I won't just like, like wake Phantom. up and suddenly Ninjago <laughs> is no more. It, oh my gosh, yeah, cold does fact. become like Danny Phantom. You can just go ghost whenever. Going go. They need to make Lego Denny Phantom because I, I just like the intro so oh. much. It's so cool. That'd so be so cool. That show is so nostalgic. He's a phantom. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Ed. Yeah. Really appreciate that. That's the kind Your of contribution. <laughs> that's the kind of Lego superheroes they Lego should go for. Write this stuff down. Yo, this Danny Phantom. I mean, that would make yeah. good sense. Like, like rub it just dub dub dub. Danny Phantom and his gang of friends going around fighting ghosts. Like, yeah, there's tons of minifigure potential there. Yeah, and you get dead. So. Aw, Every, everything's just dying in 2016. It's just yep. <laughs> Game of Thrones. The next season will be its last. Not sure if you heard. Isn't that. it like I thought there was gonna be two really small seasons, but it's just going to be one. That's it. Apparently so. Really? Season eight. Yep. Everything's <laughs> just everything's just dying, man. It's just, yep. Everything's it's, just dying. It's, it's time to go just, out with the old and in with the new. A new era of the world. But there there isn't something Ooh. to replace. Anything. I, I, we never got a Danny Phantom reboot, you know? It's, nope. Uh, Danny uh, Phantom yeah. reboot 2017, please. Uh, yeah. Just get on that petition train. Yeah. Yeah. At least we're getting work. Samurai Jack. Every yeah, yeah, when's that coming out? They should make Samurai Jack like a... Yeah, oh. real they talk. should. That would I, think be it, I think some people have actually done it. Yeah, I'd be surprised if they had There always... There's... It, if there's if it exists, someone's like made Lego out of it or something. I, mean, I guess that's the joy of Lego as a yeah. medium. People can pretty much do whatever. It's why Lego Dimensions is exploding right now. Absolutely exploding. Kuso is bit. Well, I said Kuso. Wow. 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 Ideas. Nostalgic. Ideas has basically just become. Hey, we want to put stuff in Lego Dimensions. Yeah, like, I, I feel like here. I feel like pretty much anything that you suggest on there is just. Oh no no we can't it we can't make that fodder. we're making it on Lego Dimensions. It's like we we can't make <laughs> this huge incredibly good planned um, wave of uh, Portal Two sets. We can but we can put this one mini figure overpriced into Lego Dimensions. So that's that's no they problem. Just, the, I guess Lego kind of wants that because it's ideas, haha <laughs> pun. But uh, what they should really do is just say no license themes for Lego oh, ideas. Yeah, that I actually. Yeah. Because, I mean, on one hand, on a lot of this stuff. the thing with Lego ideas is that I really want there to be, like, uh, to make Lego something that they just have not done before. And at a time, 
like these cool license themes that that was incredible it's like oh it's lego version of this very known character but the thing with lego these days is that they make basically everything in lego so we just <laughs> we should actually that that should actually be a new policy because i mean before i was like yeah i wanted like an x-men mansion but they'll, they'll 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 eventually make that anyway so licensed lego has overtaken the world yeah it's so like, there's so much so it. lego ideas should actually be for ideas not just oh yeah this yep. this license new you know? new concepts new themes or just one-off sets like that fishing house which yeah. I don't think, did you get the results for that yet? Uh, no, not yet. Yeah, okay. just a really detailed, like, fishing hut place. Like, you don't get that in normal sets. That's something nope. Lego Ideas something brings. Or not to that point in quality. I mean, you probably get, like, a really bad... water it down so much. Yeah, yeah <laughs> water just it down. end up with, like, a rinky-dinky little cube. Yeah. With, like, rinky a giant dinky fish little look. cube. The fishing box. <laughs> Actually, wow. I think purple consists of a lot of different shapes, not just a cube. What? Yeah. <laughs> no, you said you... Never mind. I Moving think we on. Just need to, let's just throw her in a trash compactor. Aww. Yes. Squish her in a cube. Oh, I love trash compactors. <laughs> yeah, I left on people. I don't know any that I think are nice. Trash compactors. They really maybe. should. Like a like a like like a Lego Star Wars like trash compactor set. That would be pretty yeah. cool. Yeah, <laughs> that squeezes. I could have sworn. Wait a second. Wait a second. I could have sworn they already did that in like the Death Star. What? Did they? Yeah. I There's think, rumor maybe. about a new uh, Death Star being revealed. Yeah. No, really. There's rumor. Another rumor one. about a new Death Star. Yeah, Can I mean, we not, please? Can to, we have anything? But yeah. That? No. Uh, to be honest, there's been like a quote unquote rumor about the Lego Death Star for like the last five years. So yeah. It's like, uh, along with a snow speeder, if I'm not mistaken. Didn't they uh, just come out with one last year? Or they no? Made they came out a with million another snow one this speeders. year because they made that Battle for Hoth set. Oh, don't, Do don't, really don't, need... don't. Oh, PTSD from that. Oh. People hate that hot set, man. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. It's so bad. It's, so no, it's, it's, bad. The it's a I horrendous looking set. It's just a bunch of old, rebooted, um, like, insignificant sets put together with a huge price tag on it. It's, it's nothing interesting. There's no, like, huge, big landmark. It's just a big bundle of a lot of leftovers that no one wants. <laughs> that's that's it's why. It's basically a bunch of table scraps. Yeah, like we don't want yeah. this. No, you know. Fair enough. That's why people don't it like was it. Different from me because like I had never seen those other models, so I looked at it and was just like, oh, okay. Every single set. like segment of that set has been made before, like two or three times through the years. Oh, so, wow. so the people who followed Star Wars when they saw that, they were just like, oh, I've seen that 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 before that's really oh, wait, oh it's just it? one set really? yeah it's like yeah. oh it's just like it's literally like if Bonacle came out with older six characters and then the next year they came out with one set with all six characters in one and it's like yeah oh okay that's huh. that's it's not interesting it's not at all and it's just yeah. it's, it's wasted potential so well. this became the huge bashing on expensive Star Wars <laughs> Sets episodes. It's great. We should do more of these. Nah, nah. Well. I think it's about time we wrap up. To tell you the truth. Yeah. yeah. What's, what's the truth? The truth is that we gotta wrap up some presents. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yep. Uh -huh. Yay. No. No. <laughs> oh my gosh! It's August now. <sighs> Happy August, you guys. Happy August. Ah, uh, I'm getting closer to dying. Day by day. <laughs> Just like that. I'm, I'm getting closer to living. Ah, uh, Brick Fair is gonna be awesome. And before it sucks. When this episode comes out on YouTube, it'll be over. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, Elja. Yeah. I'm gonna outro us. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot that's my job now. Wow. You did a great job today. Hey, listen, I'm gonna use someone else doing it. This has been, thank you, this has been the TTV Brick Feed Podcast Episode 14. We will see all of you again another time. I'm not even going to bother plugging, because we didn't do it throughout the entire episode. Go to Vessel to get this a week early, 
By the time this is on YouTube, we're already gonna have another episode out on I'm Vessel. I'm not even gonna bother plugging proceeds to plug. <laughs> one thing. Like, I'm, not gonna, I'm not gonna plug anything. Just the one thing. Go to Vessel. Check that out. But that's anything. That's the dictionary <laughs> definition of anything. Oh my goodness. Okay, we fine. Also have I'm gonna message plug. Boards I'm gonna plug sure. one thing. Shut. Shut your. Fine. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> I'm LJ. I'm Mesa. I'm Ben. I'm AXX. And I'm purple. Where did Kahi hey. go? He was just like, <laughs> mean, John? and then he's just disappeared. Where's <laughs> I mean I mean John. Well, I don't know where he is. <laughs> <laughs> Miss John Kahi. I don't know where who he is. I just he, I just, want him. John Johnny. is gone. Just John mix it. Put it together. Bob. Put Eric, John little, and Kai together. Johnny. Hashtag Johnny. Guess, Johnny. Say, <laughs> guess you could say he's Bring John back. <laughs> he's Jonathan. Wow. <laughs> wow! That wraps up this episode, so everybody. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. Farewell, everyone. See ya.